In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to update an AutoStar controller. So I have an AutoStar controller that I use with my ETX telescopes. This is uh, the AutoStar 497 controller. You can also do this for the 495 controller. So you'll need a cable to connect from your AutoStar to the computer. So you can buy the newer version, which has an RS-232 on one end, and that goes into the bottom down here of your controller. And at the other end, it has the USB port to go right into your computer. The older versions have USB to a DB9 to a DB9 that then converts to an RS-232 like phone cord. And down here is the RS-232. But we will use the more modern version. I will go ahead and plug that into the bottom of my handset. So that is plugged in down there in the slot for that. I'm going to turn this on. It will tell you the current version of your firmware. I'm just updating it to include an updated planet file for better planet finding. I don't know if you need to, but I just always enter through these three things until it gets the alignment screen. And then I plug this into the USB port. Next, you want to use the Star Patch software. This is free software for a PC. Open that up. Yes, we want to run it. So on Star Patch, um, you want to make sure you pick the right ROM file or the patch file, which I'm using the, plant, the patch 43GL, and it says planets because it's the planet update. Don't need to have these first two things selected since I don't have GPS on my telescope. Go to options, double check, handset type is set to AutoStar 495 or 497, which it is. And then you can say update handset. What it'll do sometimes is search for the right COM port. Other times it knows where it is. And this one says, found it. Do you want to continue? Yes. If it doesn't find it, you can retry. And then it'll say, do you want me to try to find the correct COM port? Say yes, it should find the correct COM port. And then you can connect. So once it finds it, you say, do you want to update? Yes. And this is the free version of Star Patch. So it's going to say it's not registered, which will be a slower baud rate. You want to continue? Yes. So it goes much slower. You'll see the time down here that it'll be about 18 and a half minutes to get this completed. Once that's done, your Auto Star will reset and it will be all updated.